Hello. Welcome to another edition of Congregation Agudath Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. Today I'd like to discuss the story of a great medieval Jewish sage, Rabbi Meir, or the Maharam of Rothenburg. Rabbi Meir of Rothenburg's life ended in tragedy, and his death also brought an end to one of the most significant periods in the history of Jewish scholarship. Rabbi Meir was born at the beginning of the 13th century in the ancient Jewish community of Worms in southwest Germany. This was the period of what's known as the Baalei HaTosvot, the great medieval commentators on the Talmud living in France and Germany, many of them descendants and students of Rashi. Rabbi Meir studied with many rabbis in a number of cities throughout Germany and France. He made his way to Paris, studying with one of the most prominent rabbis of his time, Rabbi Yechiel of Paris. It was in Paris that Rabbi Meir witnessed the burning of the Talmud that took place there in 1244. The church burnt over 20 cartloads of Talmudic manuscripts and commentaries, many of them lost to us forever. Upon remembering these tragic events, Rabbi Meir composed the Kina the lamentation titled Sha'ali Srufa Ba'esh, which is still recited in synagogues worldwide on the 9th of Av every year. Rabbi Meir settled in the German town of Rothenburg. However, in 1281, due to persecutions, Rabbi Meir had to run away and made his way to northern Italy. In that same area, in the mountains of Lombardy, he was caught. He was brought to the Alsace region where he was imprisoned in a fortress until his death seven years later. The authorities demanded an exorbitant amount of money as ransom for the release of Rabbi Meir. The incredible part of this story, however, is that the Jewish community was willing to pay for the release of their leader, and yet Rabbi Meir demanded that they not pay it. He was following the strict, the strict interpretation of the Talmud, which dictates that exorbitant amounts should not be paid as ransom, since this will encourage the authorities to take more Jewish prisoners. The details of this law have been debated for centuries under different circumstances up until this day. However, Rabbi Meir was adamant that in his case, the law should be followed in its strictest sense. While in captivity, Rabbi Meir continued his scholarship, writing in one of his letters that in his captivity he did not forget his creator and continued to cling to his Torah. Over a decade after his death in prison, Rabbi Meir's body was finally redeemed by a wealthy Jew and given a proper Jewish burial. Rabbi Meir of Rothenburg's death brought the period of the Tosfot to an end. His life exemplified the story of the Jews in the Middle Ages, persecuted, on the run, and yet at the same time able to reach the highest heights of Jewish scholarship and spirituality. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.